Hi, I'm Peter Burlingame of the Self-Defense Initiative. Piggybacking on the video I just did on eye dominance, let's talk about some of the things we can do to improve our eyesight in general. This will not only improve our shooting and gunfighting skills, but all our hand-eye coordination skills and visual acuity skills. There's six muscles that control eye movement. And like any other muscle, if you don't use them, they atrophy and become less and less uh, powerful. They become weaker and slower. There's three basic types of eye movement. One is vergence, where your eyes turn inwards and outwards. And this has to do with depth perception. The second type of eye movement is tracking, where you're tracking a moving object. And the third eye movement is saccades, where your eyes move very quickly, scanning as if you're reading a book. Interestingly, during saccade movement, you're actually blind during the eye movement. So we are literally blind for 90 minutes of our waking hours because during that rapid eye movement, our brain's processing capacity is unable to keep up with that motion. And our brain fudges. Obviously, things don't go blank. It looks like things are still there, but we're actually blind during that period of time to anything new in our environment. Magicians use this to fool us. They'll have something, they'll, they'll have something exciting happening where they have your eyes do a saccade while all of a sudden over here they throw away the ball that they want you to think disappears. Now there's some exercises you can do to improve your eye strength, improving the strength of the six muscles that control eye movement. The first one deals with virgins. It's called pencil push-ups. And for that, you'll need a pencil or a pen. You can even use your finger. And what you do is you hold the pencil out at arm's length and look at it. And you should see just one pencil. Now bring the pencil closer to your nose, and you'll feel yourself starting to go cross-eyed. If at a certain point in time you can't get any closer without the pencil turning into two pencils, stop there. Back off a little bit until you get to the point where you can see one pencil again, and then move back in. You should get to the point where you can touch your nose with the pencil and see only one pencil. You might find that this is kind of straining the eye muscles, which means they're working. So step one is just moving the pencil back and forth and working the virgence muscles. So you're moving those eyes in and then back out. So in and then back out. And then we can do rapid changes where we hold the pen close to us and then look away. So I'm looking at the camera, I'm looking at the pen, I'm looking at the camera, looking at the pen. Let's see if I can show this to you closer up. All right, so I've got one pencil, one pencil, one pencil. I'm crossing my eyes. They're verging. My vision is verging. I still have one pencil. I can feel the strain of my eyes. And then I let it back out. And the other exercise is to bring the pencil in, look at it, look away, look at it, look away, look at it, look away. The second type of motion is saccades, where your eyes are moving rapidly from side to side, scanning as if you're reading a book. And here's the way we can uh, exercise those muscles. If you hold your thumbs up, about a foot or so apart from each other and directly in front of your eyes. And then look from thumbnail to thumbnail. Now, 
this is helpful if you have a timer and you can count the numbers of times the saccade between the two thumbs in a certain period of time. So give yourself 20 seconds or 30 seconds and look from one thumb to the other, back, 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 back. Once you have that number, write it down. Because now we're going to do something that's called loading, where we make the task more difficult. So it's the same task, but now instead of our, our thumbs being directly in front of our face, we're going to put them down here. So I'm going to keep my face looking straight ahead, but my thumbs are now down here, and I'm going to do the saccades. And you'll notice that because your eyes are looking down and going back and forth, it's much more of a strain on the muscles. You can also do it up here, up here, down here, do all those corners. Once you've done that, then go back to straight out in front, and you'll find it's very easy. But also notice that how many repetitions you do will be much higher than the first time you tried it because you're actually getting better, and the loading made the unloaded exercise easier. The third type of motion is pursuit eye motion, where your eye is tracking a moving object. And for this drill, we're going to take a tennis ball and put numbers on it. Now you can play this by yourself or with other people. And the object is to toss the ball and call out the numbers as you see them. 6-3, 8-6. Now it may be you'll find that you have trouble seeing the numbers until the ball lands in your hand. 8. And that's fine. Very quickly, you'll see that you start seeing the numbers further and further out. Be careful you don't get any spin on the ball or make it very difficult to see the numbers. So no spin, just toss the ball, 3, 6, 7, 7, 3, 1, 3. Once you have the hang of that, you can start making it a little more difficult. You can bounce the ball off a wall so it's doing multiple angles. But also introduce some loading. We introduced that term earlier. Loading is taking a task and making it more difficult so that when you get rid of the loading, the original task is much easier. So in this case, the loading is going to be spinning the ball. Don't go crazy with it, but a little bit of spin and see if you can count the numbers off through the spin. 6-3, 6-9-4, 7-2, 6-4. Once again, as with any other loading, if you go back to spinning, uh, to throwing the ball without the spin, you'll see that you're seeing those numbers much further out and much clearer. So those are three drills you can do to increase the strength and ability of those six muscles to move your eyes around efficiently. First drill was pencil push-ups, working on virgins. The second drill was the thumb drill, working on saccades. And the third drill was the pursuit motion drill where we're using the ball. I hope those are helpful to you. Give them a try. Once again, thank you for watching. Be safe out there. If you want to increase your eye's ability to work well and your hand-eye coordination, I highly recommend this book, Sports Vision, written by Thomas Wilson and Jeff Falkel. It's filled with drills like the ones I just showed you, the pencil push-up, the thumb saccades, the pencil, and many, many more. Well worth your money.